Hello, this is Michael Barber in the College of Education and Health Sciences at Toro University, California. I'm just going to do a quick video here to show you how to move things over from your sandbox into the semester that you happen to be teaching. So here I am in a user's profile and I'm in their dashboard here and as you can see I've got a course for spring 2018 here and I can tell it's a spring 2018 course because if I look here at this top line I can see that I've got the first six digits are the semester code and then you can see the course code here and then you can see the program code and then you can see the CRN number, the course reference number. So, and then as you can see underneath, it actually has spring 2018 there. And then over here is our sandbox area, and this is our development area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the development area first, and you can see that the instructor has created certain materials in here. And what we are going to do is we are going to scroll down and go into settings. And from settings over here on the left hand menu, we are going to export the course content. And it'll ask us if we want to export the full course or just the quizzes. We want to export the full course, so I'm going to click Create Export. And it's going to move across and export all of the materials. And it'll tell me when it's done, and you can tell it's done because this whole blue bar is solid. And I can just cl click here to download and it will download it to my computer. So you can see it went down here to the bottom and um, downloaded it to my computer. So the next thing I need to do now is I'm going to go back to my dashboard and I'm going to go into the semester that I happen to be teaching. In this case it is the spring 18 semester so it's this one right here. So when I click on this one you'll see I've already gone in or this instructor has already gone in and updated the template material to be specific to his course or her course and in this case I am going to scroll down to settings again and from clicking on settings I am going to import course content and you can see it'll actually ask me uh, what type of import I want to bring in and since I just exported a course I'm going to select this second option here canvas course export package and I'm going to choose the file here now and it came down into my downloads directory and you can see it here it's the edu 606 and I can always tell it says export.imscc uh, a good way to do this is if you have it set up so that oftentimes this is the view that you will see um, if you go over here and switch to the list view and then click on the date modified and if you're pointing down, it means that it will be all of the most recent ones at the top. So you can see this is the most recent file that was added to that directory. And if I had just exported the file a couple of minutes ago, which I did, that should be at the top. So I'm going to select that one and I'm going to click open down here. I want to bring in all of the content and then I'm just going to click export and it brings it in you can see it's running here and when this blue bar here reaches the end it will be ready and if there are any problems it'll tell me right here if there were problems so it says completed and that's fine um, just to the side of completed either on the right side or the left side if there were issues with the import it would have said there are one issue or two issues and you could have clicked on that and that would have um, indicated what those issues were. Oftentimes it's a file that isn't found in the same spot or it's a link that is no longer working. But in this case we were fine so if I go back out to home. Now one of the things that it happens with our template for some reason is when we import the content and you'll notice that the front page is missing. So one of the things we have to do is bring back the front page. So I can do that by over here on the right hand menu. I would click choose home page and I'm going to pick this second option pages front page and you'll see home is in italics. So that's the one I'm going to pick and I'm going to click save and you will see it brings back our front page again and if I click on modules 
you can tell that all of the materials here, so these first four items are the template items, and the rest of the stuff I brought in is still right underneath. So that's how you would import content into your course, and then that's also how you would bring back the home page, because for some reason, the way in which we've set this up, at least for this pilot semester, the home page disappears when we do that import. So again, by clicking on that Choose Home Page button there, it will allow us to bring it back.